Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. So we need to take on, uh, we need to take this delivery at the way station north of Mountain Knot City. And I guess, okay, so this is here. And then that's going to set us up to like bring all these other places online, I believe. That was the last thing that we left off at is try to bring the mountain range online, I think. Um, it's been a week since I've been in here, so I feel like a little bit overwhelmed, but hopefully we'll be all right. Yeah, we do need to rest our guy, that's for sure. Um, I remember we talked about potentially going up here to this online safe house because we were trying to build one and it, whatever. It just wasn't working out real well. Anyways, let's uh, take our first order. <laughs> uh, we got to send out our bots. I mean, obviously. This one has the most likes. And it doesn't seem like it's a super high priority thing. It's just, just some books. And then we can send... Uh, this one's on a timer. So let's just send this to the craftsman. The other thing I'd like to do today autonomous delivery bot. is maybe get to... Maybe get to the... I think his name was the Collector. People were saying that there's a pretty cool uh, item that he'll give us, so... Alora, thank you so much. Thanks for gifting us up to bullets. That's amazing. Jeez, Alora. You've been super generous. Unbelievable. Thank you. Uh, Darkos, we we just got started. You're not you're not missing uh, you're not missing anything. Razareth as well. Thanks for the 22 months, man. I think I missed you. Sorry, buddy. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have to do a blood delivery. Uh, it's 40 minutes. I feel like that's probably gonna be fine. But like, I know because I just want to start off with like a chill little casual delivery. No big deal. That's what I want. There's no way that's going to happen. Is there anything I need to make here? I feel like I th I want to say we're probably okay. We don't have any stuff. or We, we have very few um, tools anyway. Or uh, materials. I'm just seeing if there's anything we need. I'm going to maybe whip up some of the uh, hematic grenades for our trip. Remember, Sam. Oh, Alora, are you kidding? Ticking, Unbelievable. Review your gear and bring only what you need to make it to your destination as fast as possible. Okay, we are carrying a lot. Uh, we're carrying two of these floating carriers, which I kind of feel is like... Maybe a little overkill. So, you know what? I think what we might do is... Um, Order assigned. I'm going to store these. Parameters updated. We'll store them for now. What happened during the last stream? Uh, a lot. I think the last stream was a pretty big one. It'll be too. It'll be pretty tough to cover it all, to be honest. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim to head up in like in this direction. Hopefully stop at the safe house. Now, actually, because this is on a timer, maybe that wasn't the ideal plan. We might have to go through here. I think we'll have to try and rest later. Only because of the timer. Does this game have a political or social message? I mean, 
weapons restrictions lifted. I think that the message that it's trying to to make is that like you need other people. You need to be you need to connect like quite literally with other people. Uh and that's like a vital part of being like a human. Otherwise you get into these types of scenarios. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, you told you can find a political message or whatever in any game, but I don't think this game like hits you over the head with politics. Definitely it's it's message about uh the human connection is like you know pretty obvious whatever but i think it's good everybody needs somebody sometime is that how that song goes apoc man thank you for the two twitch babies <laughs> i appreciate it man thank you so much hey joth what's up man Julie, welcome. Julie, congrats on launching your book, by the way. That's freaking cool. That's so cool. And to see that you've all, almost hit your goal already, that's insane. Really, really cool. I can't wait to see it. Okay. I mean, we're already covering a ton of ground here. If, uh, what I, what I might do, depending on what the, what the ground looks like when we get to this, uh, safe house area, I might see about grabbing a, uh, vehicle. Let's see. Hey, Ascenderon. What's up, man? Thank you so much, dude. Do you guys happen to know, because we're on a timer, if I rest at this safe house, would we, I imagine we would lose that mission. We'd have to do it over again or something. Can I get your belated live reaction of there being a new Half-Life? I mean, I like VR. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like VR. Uh, I will play it. In VR, I think a lot of people probably feel a similar way where where I um, you would kind of rather it just be like a normal game. You'd rather it be Half Life Three, obviously. But it looks amazing. The detail looks cool. I like the way that you're like you got your your uh, shows the gloves or whatever on the screen in your hands. And you're moving stuff out of the way. You're finding the bullets. You're like putting the bullets into your gun yourself. I really like that. I really like that. Hey, SARS, what's up? Okay, so it's actually not even letting me enter the private room. Probably because of the fact that we're on a time mission. Um... So I, I don't know if there's a way for me to... I don't even know if you can get a vehicle out of these private structures. So. What about this place, though? Oh, this is the, an incinerator. Oh, sick. This is not the same incinerator that we uh, used earlier, was it? I want to say no. I think that was in a different area. We can make this on foot. We'll be fine. Hey, Shake. What's up, man? I appreciate the two years, dude. The first one was in that whole other zone. So. Did I repaint my room? No. I didn't. But I have a light on back there. So maybe that's why it looks different.
This area is currently inactive, yeah, but that's why we're in the mountains. They want us to bring it online? I'm going to bring it online. I'm not going to ask any questions. Do you need a delivery boy? I'm your guy. Preferably, we'd be doing this in a vehicle, because this seems pretty traversable, but uh, seeing the mountains here... Oh, it looks like we're going to cut off down that way, so... We'll see. Is there anybody in the chat that has not seen... Ooh. Guess what? We've got a mule camp we need to get through. Of, of course we do. We can do the ping back. Sorry. Has anybody not seen Star Wars? I know it's going to be a not a, not a lot of you, but you hear that? Hold on. So, of course, we're going to have to go right through here. Uh, hmm. See, that's pretty massive now that we can just negate those pings. But one thing I really like about this game is that it, it does a good job of introducing you to, like, mechanics and uh, almost, like, pseudo-abilities over time to make your life easier. If you think back to the very beginning, we are we're on foot literally all the time. We have nothing. We're falling over. Can barely stand. And then now we can like... Oh, crap. Now we can ping back mules and stuff. It's pretty cool. Only seen the original trilogy. trilogy. What's that? The one with Klingon? <laughs> yeah, pretty close. So last weekend I watched, um, what's the first one? A New Hope? For the first time? And, uh, last night we watched, uh, Empire Strikes Back. And Empire Strikes Back had so many, like, as a non-Star Wars viewer slash fan. The Emperor Strikes Back has so many quotes. Like, famous quotes where you're like, hey, I get that. Hey, this guy's just chilling here. Master Chief. <laughs> hey, Vandovers. Heard your story about how to get a Canadian driver's license and laugh so hard. You talking about the Tim Hortons lineup? I was literally at Tim Hortons this morning at 8.30 a.m. to have a condo association meeting. Not cool. Anyways, so I was watching The Empire Strikes Back. So many cool, like, quotes came out of that. There is something in, like, uh, I talked about it on Twitter, like, a very little bit. Um, but there's a scene when Luke Skywalker is... Oh, frick. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> Sleep. 
Okay, now Buddy out there is going to see me, though. I need to get higher. Mind the spoilers. I haven't seen the movies. Okay, I, I won't... Well, I don't think it's a spoiler. But there's a certain uh, thing that happens that involves uh, a limb. And I was like... Hmm, I've never heard anything about that, and I'm trying to figure out, like, where that's going to come into play. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? With, maybe without spoiling it for other people like me. Oh, yeah, and Yoda, of course. Yoda's the best. And what I was thinking is when, uh, when they introduced Yoda, I was... Uh, Aram and I were talking about how, like, our experience watching Star Wars, even though we've never seen it, it's still, like, not quite the same as when it originally released. Because everybody knows knows who Yoda is, right? But when you get... When they introduce you to Yoda in the movie, they, uh, they play it off like he's not Yoda. Like, you're going to look for Yoda, and so you run into this little gremlin dude. And, you're, and he's like, oh, yeah, Yoda. Cool, cool, cool. And you don't really find out that that's actually Yoda. Which is kind of neat. Baby Yoda? Is that what he is? Is he? Is, does he get bigger? <laughs> Wait, something. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll I'll try to be careful because. Sam, we're thinking you ran afoul of a local terrorist cell. Former mules who took a turn for the worse. Stealing cargo doesn't do it for them anymore. Former mules? Mayhem and destruction are their drugs of choice now. But you didn't give them the satisfaction. You kept your cargo safe. Great work. I uh, doubt you've seen the last of them, though. So keep your eyes peeled, huh? So this is like a different type of mule that we just went through here? Heads up, Sam. Looks like you've tripped an intrusion sensor. It's fine. To be clear, these sensors react to you, not to your cargo. Be careful. Trouble may be on the way. Wait, what? Okay, so hold on. So these mules, these guys don't detect packages. These guys are actually detecting, like, us. I think we should be okay. We've got lots of cover out here. They'll come and investigate that area, but I think we're fine. Hey, Knox Flans. <laughs> Hope I'm saying that right, man. Do I know the big spoiler reveal from episode 6? No. I just started episode 6 last night. And uh, we were tired, so we went to bed. I'm like 20 minutes into it. So maybe tonight I'll watch it or something. We are not out of range. I could use some water. Hey, Orn. Does new to your stream? What episode are you on in the game? We're in uh, chapter or episode. Are they episodes or chapters? I believe we're in four. I don't know if there's a way for me to check that on here, but I think we're in four. It is chapters. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? I've had a few people, quite a few, that come in and ask uh, which which episode we're on. I guess for some people that's like one and the same. Yeah, I think we're good. God, we need to rest. Are we on five? Are we on five already? It may, you might be right. I can't remember exactly. But uh, I remember three was really long. <laughs> three seemed to go on for quite a while. And everyone was like, that's the longest one. So. Hey, Floss. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the 14 months. Thank you so much. How are you? 
Oh, four was basically just the mama interaction. Okay, so then we're in five. Yeah. This has actually been a pretty nice little, like, mission to take at the start of a stream. Just to chill and get back into it, you know? Let's get some monster going. <laughs> but no music yet. I'm okay with that. It's less stuff that I have to edit out later. This is odd going to Mountain Knot, right? Yeah, we're heading to uh, distribution center north of Mountain Knot City. Uh, the previous place we're here, way station north of Mountain Knot City. So I guess Mountain Knot's like somewhere in here. Because I think he showed us a visual of like wanting to connect all of these cities. Or all of these uh, areas. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying Guys, ID. almost a successful delivery. Weapons detected. All weapons Very chill. Very nice. Cargo verified. Thank you. You went back and watched the half life videos? Classic. You guys, honestly? <laughs> I don't know. I think when people watched those videos, they probably knew that it was my first video ever. And it was like, it went easy on me. I'm very, very, like if I watch that back now, I'm very, very surprised that anybody would have stuck around <laughs> afterwards because those were ugh, very rough very rough maybe i'm maybe i'm being super hard on myself but i definitely didn't sound i didn't sound confident at all at all welcome sam porter bridges hey bimbados what's up man thanks buddy watch too much content to not be subbed really yeah thanks that's awesome You know what? That probably took a little longer. Like, we could have done this with a truck, but I would have activated that, that mule group for sure. Uh, and they would have probably just chased me. I might have been able to get away, but... Thank you so much. Our med team should have no trouble patching them up now. You're a lifesaver. Thank God. Another moment, and I don't know where we'd be. You know, you got guts. Not a lot of people would risk a run-in with terrorists to help someone out. So I guess the point of this... Damn! Warlin? Bro, thank you. An A! <sighs> We're gonna have to do this over again, you guys. We're gonna have to do it over again. A for almost super awesome. I'll take it. Bridge link grade 40. So your sync level with other players is increased by 10%. You can make more strand contracts. You can make more cooperation requests. Period for which you can send likes been increased to 8 seconds. All right. Wasn't an accident, by the way. It was an attack. Someone slipped explosives into a parcel we processed. Separatist assholes think this land is theirs for the taking. They may be right. Any one of us could have handled that package. Fuck me. We have to be more careful. Beef up our security. At least we didn't lose anyone this time. Thank you, Sam. Really. I, uh... I hear the chiral network is coming along. You think the signal's strong enough to reach us here? Oh, I hope so. Give it a try. Huh? Get us on there, buddy. Hey, uh, chat, can we, uh, actually, Warlin, how about this? Warlin, are you there? Repeat, Warlin. Come in, Warlin. Can you please choose a new color for our hat, Warlin? 
Thank you so much, man. That's gifting 10 subs is huge. Thank you so much. That's insane. Sassy, thanks for the 26 months as well, bro. Appreciate it. Okay, so we have assault rifle level twos, non lethal assault rifle level twos, near death experience. And the level twos are the ones that can use blood for bullets, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Edward. Yellow? Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's great. We've been starving for info. And if we run into any more trouble, we can get the word out sooner. I can't thank you enough. All right, Sam. There aren't any more stops to make before Mountain Knot City. But this last leg will be the hardest yet. So let me rest. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Yes. Let me rest. Your work is great. Oh, he's taking us right in. They're like, no, nope, you have to rest here. What does that mean, guys? That's bad. Something bad's going to happen here. Forced rest? Never good. Hey, you can say a bit about how the guns work. Go for it. Yes. People came. They finally reached Echinoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Well, that's... Where's your keeper? Right. But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. It's, uh, it's quite obvious that something is, uh, not what it seems to be with her. And pretty much everybody, let's be fair. Never trusted her to begin with. Yeah, there's definitely something off. It's just, what is it? Like, I don't know. Could be, it literally could be anything. It could be anything. Uh, delivery bot one completed in order. Okay. Let's, uh, I want to read about the near-death experience real quick, real fast. We have a memory chip as well. The frame arms, Ming V. Frame architecture, robot skeleton. And then where is the thing? Okay, so we have the history of the Audra deck, which we picked up, I think, yesterday. Does the name Sigmund Freud mean anything to you? Yeah. He was a famous psychologist, the most famous of them all, perhaps, but I digress. Freud formulated one of his most famous theories after observing his grandson playing with a spool of thread. The boy would throw the spool under the bed, 
thus ensuring that he could not see it anymore. He would then wind the thread in his hand, gradually drawing the spool back towards him until it became visible again. He repeated this process several times. It was apparently a game he played whenever his mother was elsewhere. Freud proposed that the process of concealing and rediscovering the spool was a coping mechanism, a way in which the boy could put his mind at ease. You see, the boy was in control of the spool. He could make it disappear and reappear at will. This helped him to comprehend his mother's absence not as something sudden or irrational, but as something controlled and therefore not a cause for concern. A novelist named Franz Kafka later coined a term for this spool of thread. Audredeck, is that real? Chat? Is that real? It's like, is that a real thing? Audredeck, this thing. That is so cool. Wow, cool. However, he conceived it as a, an object capable of speech and autonomous movement. Mysterious being neither dead or, nor alive, the Audrodex we use are perhaps not so different. These interfaces through which we experience our BB's perception of their surroundings are not unlike spools of thread. A connection between our world and the other side, the living and the dead, human and BB, and something we can control. Pretty cool. The Cares of a Family Man is a short story written Just by... Thanks, Siri. Short story by Franz Kafka, originally written in German between 1914 and 1917 about a creature called Audredeck. Oh, cool. I really like... Um, this game's done a good job of incorporating like real life, real world um, elements and theories and topics into these interviews. And I feel like if, you, if we didn't go through these interviews, there'd be a ton of stuff where we had even more questions. Because they do, they cover off quite a bit in here, which is nice. Near death experience, K okay, from Hartman. Uh, until relatively recently, apparently I look like this guy. You guys see it? I'm blocking him. Hold on. Do I look like him? S similar. A lot of people have been messaging me saying, hey, bro, you look like this guy. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Thanks, man. It's my clone. Weird. Uh, death can only be studied from the perspective of an external, external observer, as the experience of one's own death could not be communicated to another. A collaborative investigation of the phenomenon was fundamentally impossible. But through the examination of subjects in near-death states and the cataloging of their experiences, we have at last been able to bring the scientific method to bear on this most final of frontiers. Even those in a state of so-called brain death exhibit signs of consciousness. What could this possibly mean? Moreover, why do some on the brink of death report out-of-body experiences? Furthermore, why do so many of those who have such experiences describe the same sensations of being beckoned towards a distant light. Many had argued that these commonalities were evidence of an objective reality, of a place beyond life. Double quotes. I don't know why places in double quotes. If nothing else, they at least suggested that death was an instantaneous change of states, but a process, or not an instantaneous ch uh, change. The beach has since proven much of this beyond a doubt, and the dead rising again as BTs through necrosis demonstrates this process in action. The place beyond life is no longer a theoretical possibility. Its existence must be taken as incontrovertible fact. All right. Hey, Opossum. Welcome, dude. How you doing? Thanks for saving our buddy. You showed up in the nick of time. I just about given up on our guy Langdon. But he's on the mend now, thanks to you. Should be back to work before long, but in the meantime, I'll have to cover for him. Don't worry, he knows that he owes you his life. He'll probably be sending you a message to thank you himself soon enough. But being honest, though, it was his own damn fault. An old pro like him shouldn't be letting explosives slip by right under his nose. Should have known how clever these damn terrorists are getting. Oh, and thanks for connecting us to the chiral network. We're getting a lot more data from the outside world now. And that alone has given morale a pretty big boost. And the printer is the icing on the cake. Can't print everything, though, of course. We'll be relying on you porters for a good while yet. Keep up the good work. All right. Let's take care of our, our bodily needs. 
Okay, so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna drink our monster, two and a half cans, well three cans. This is what I just learned. Not that useful, but kind of cool. You can shoot the gun with normal bullets after throwing a matic grenade. <laughs> if bullets go through the blood, it'll be coated with blood, so it'll work like a bullet. Yes, I've heard, actually. I have heard that. My thing is, like, why, um... I just don't want to carry around a real gun all the time. I don't know. BB needs some love. Don't worry. He's part of my routine. I got it. Drink our mo we check our emails, drink our monsters, shower, pee, poo. Only because that makes chat mad to do it in that order. Uh, check on BB, check our gear, change the color of our hat. Get the frick out of here. Think it's useful for the big ones? Yeah, probably. I just like to trap. I'm like a minimal, I'm like a minimalist uh, freight carrier. You know, so I want to take as as few items as possible. Why does he drink so much monster you just got here? So, the reason you drink monster in this room is because you, um, it gives you a, a stamina boost. It boosts your maximum stamina, stamina by 25%. And each can of monster is 10%. So you have to drink three cans to get the full 25% boost. If you're not doing it, you're just making it more difficult for yourself because you have less stamina. When Death Stranding comes out for PC, what do you think is going to be the most useful mod? Uh, the nudity mod. For sure. And it'll be the easiest one to make. Basically already there. Uh, Sassy, thank you for gifting a sub to Julie, by the way. That's very cool of you. Thanks, man. Uh, let's go standing. A man of culture. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, Ambot. Thank you so much for the Prime sub, dude. Make you drink three for that extended product placement. What, you know, what's weird to me is like, they could have just given us a 30% boost. 10% per can, easy. But no, they do 25. Mm, nice. So every time you're drinking that third can, you're like, I don't really need this whole can, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Thank you, Grave, Bra Grave Bound. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for sponsoring this. Norman Reedus is poo. Appreciate it. Okay, what's left? We gotta check on BB. Stoked. Yeah, we'll check the mirror too. BB looks happy. I would agree. Okay, uh, Warlin. I don't. Ha I don't have yellow, bro. I'm sorry. These are your options, though. If you're still here, I got white, black. Uh, I guess that's orange. Yeah, okay. Like a burnt orange. We have a navy blue. We have red. Our backpack's currently red. Signal green and purple. <laughs> Remember, you have to be OSHA compliant. <laughs> exactly. Then green. God, I think that might be worse than purple. Okay, fine. You've earned it. The thing is, I just have to make sure that we're not wearing it during, like, potential cutscene situations. Because it looks a little bit gnarly. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Our weapon rack is getting, like... Okay. There's actually going to be a lot more weapons, it seems. 
So there's the bowl again, that purple one, right? I think so. Uh, oh, it'll tell us. There's our sticky gun, which I don't know if I'll ever use. The assault rifle. Yeah, there's our bola gun. I wonder what the... It looks like there's a Mark II version. Anti-BT handgun. Assault rifle level 2. Going to be loaded with hematic rounds. So I'm thinking, based on the fact that we just unlocked these, that we'll probably have to whip some of these up. And we'll take, uh, we'll take out a gun and some hematic grenades. Hey, Joe. Bloodborne and Secure Runs are some of my favorite vids on YouTube. Oh, thanks, man. Those games are full of me mostly just, like, try fumbling around, trying not to die. Here it comes. Nailed it. 45 likes from BB for that. All right. He's over it. Okay, let's go, guys. It's time to go. Never thought the sticky gun would be useful, but if you ever lose your cargo in a deep river, it's easy to grab them with the sticky gun. Look. Up, kiss off the chain. Look it. Listen. I don't know if you're referring to that point when we may have accidentally dropped some items into the river... And we may have tried to get them for like 40 minutes. But we did get them successfully without the gun. Okay. You're probably not even talking about that. Manny Manic, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. It was fun. That was a cool memory. That's like one of the things I like in video games when things don't go well. Because that's when you remember it. That's what makes it unique. Fun. Oh boy. Back off. Back off. So this is him. Okay. So that's him trying to take BB away from the mother from the hospital, I guess, and then being confronted about it. Hey, Sam, I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. That's so it's crazy. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. Aping? There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. 
It's all just guesswork. But I suspect the BP program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Can't imagine why. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, Our mom. that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Okay. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. I, uh... That kind of gives me more... confidence behind what we were talking about a few streams ago, where... I, my, my initial, my thought about what's going on with us is that we were probably a BB at some point, and Higgs might have been a BB, because we both have the, the naval, like, cross scar, um, no belly button. I kind of feel like that's might maybe what's going on in there, but I don't know. I'm just, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with it. And whenever I talk about this stuff, I hesitate to look at the chat because I don't want anything spoiled. So I'm trying to be, uh, trying to be weary. The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't a be -like long before it spreads into the city. All right. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. Okay. There's this sounds like... City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. They're setting us up to fight here, guys. Pretty sure. Let's send out our bot orders. Antimatter bomb delivery. Handle with care. Avoid impact. Less than 40% damage. Deliver to mountainous area. Yeah. All right. It's heavy too. So between here and there, it's showing... Well, here, let's take this and then we can get a better look. Is Sam the original BB? That's, th that's what I'm wondering. And I'm all... It, so... What's making me think, uh, give me more confidence in that, is that, so this void out happens in this area, they start making the, the, start experimenting with the BBs, right? And then the president gets killed, and then our mother president steps in and, like, shuts down everything. That's my understanding of what just happened there. And it could be because we were, like, you know... Sam Porter Bridges, or Sam Strand at that point, is a BB, and she's like, I don't like that because that's our family, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm picking up on everything there, so. Okay, we're going to make one of these. Blood bags, we're, we're, we're fine. Uh, this is fine. We have two of these, two of these, two of these. Might need more boots because I think I got to replace the ones that I have currently. Uh, we have a bola gun, but I think I might not take it. We have a bunch of hematic grenades, but I might even make more. <laughs> and then we'll see about vehicles. But if Sam was a BB, does the scar mean that the cord was there and grew up? See, I don't know. That's the thing. And it's very obvious that he's got this cross-section scar thing. Uh, and we saw the exact same thing 
on what's his name? On Higgs. Truck defensive. Vulnerable to falls. Rough ground. Driven on flat surfaces or roads. Um, you guys think we should go bike or should we take a truck for this go? I think Sam was Mads BB maybe. Yeah, exactly. Like it could be, but maybe our mom and Mads were like together somehow. Like, I'm not sure. Hey, big boss. How far in are we? We're uh, chapter five, we said. I think the truck is safer. I just don't know what the terrain's going to be like. Let's roll with the truck. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. Okay. A powerful impact. Reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Ugh. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a Shit. disaster on our hands. Okay. The kind we can't come back from. That makes me nervous. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to load it on the vehicle. If we get an alert. If we get an alert, then we'll maybe switch it up. Now, I just have to change our boots, recycle the old ones. Yeah, no pressure. No. If it makes any noises, you're doing it wrong and you're about to explode. No pressure. Deliver the antimatter bomb. All right, cool. So we've got a bunch of hematic grenades. Um, well, actually, I'm going to recycle these two. And then those can take up our uh, grenade pouch slots. <laughs> so the nuke was just a warm up to transporting antimatter bomb. Thank you for your We've been in training. We're progressively taking more dangerous stuff all over the place. auto arrange this we're gonna make sure that they're in our grenade pouches are full I should actually consider adding more grenade pouches to this thing because why not because then I don't have to carry it on my back like technically but whatever thank you for your contribution okay so how like look at this there's a lot of water here which is concerning Looks like there's a bridge over in this way, but I don't know if it's going the right way. And then even if it is, oh, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to, I'm going to drive out to here. We're going to hit the watchtower and then we'll go around here. And I feel like just based on the amount of stuff that's in this area, like, look at this. We've got a couple of zip lines. I don't even know where they lead. Oh, maybe this, you know what? This might connect. Hold on, let me get rid of this. I wonder if this connects to this. And if it does, that could be all right. Um, and then we'd go the rest of the way on foot. But we won't know until we get out there. 
So we'll see. Trucks can handle deeper water. Yeah, but I don't know what the water's like there. That's uh, It's all kind of iffy, right? Just based on how important it is. I can't even like this vehicle. Based on how important this cargo is, I feel like we should just make sure that we're safe. Right, Bong Vassar? Thank you for the prime sub, Bong Vassar. Uh, there's a zipline here, but like, I don't think that's going to connect us to anywhere over here. This is 888 meters away. So I think zip lines were what, 300 meters or something like that? Yeah, 300 meters. You guys surprised that I remember that? Me too. Weapons restrictions lifted. Okay, let's just scan everything. We have a memory chip over there I should probably grab. I'm going to go grab this memory chip before we head out. Hey, Thunder, you're in Toronto. That's cool, man. What the? Oh, what? That's trippy. There we go. Like, what a weird place to have this. But at the same time... Can't climb any higher. All right, cool. Are these the new Tesla trucks? Exactly. Oh, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm a huge, like, I'm a huge, I'm big into Tesla. Like, I love it. Uh, Ram and I, we watched the, um, the unveiling, which was... Come on, let's roll. What day was it? Thursday night, I think, at like 11 p.m. We watched it live. So the, as we were watching it, we were like, there's no way this is, this, there's no way this is real. Like, for sure, he's going to be like, oh, yeah, no, here's the real truck, right? Oh, that's the real truck. And even though... Okay, here we go. Even though it like looks, it's like so different from what you would expect, it's kind of growing on me. But more importantly, what's cool is, oh, cargo for delivery damaged by vibration. Holy balls. Okay. Well, okay. This is, uh, I guess we're, we're going on foot. Look at the damage. Everybody's saying that the Tesla truck looks like something from Blade Runner. It actually, like, legitimately does. Um, it's very unique. That scares a lot of people, which I totally get. But anyways, the important thing, in my opinion, is not so much the... I mean, the looks or whatever. The important thing, actually, is the uh, the range that you can achieve because you can put bigger batteries in and stuff. On the top level truck, you can get 500 miles of range, which is in kilometers, 800 kilometers, roughly. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot in a single charge. That's impressive. Plus, then you have the, the truck is, like, super powerful because there's no... It's just awesome. Super cool. So there we go. And Elon's weird, man. Like, yeah, it, I had a, uh, I was having a little bit of an argument with somebody yesterday because he's like, oh, I hate the Tesla truck because Elon's just an arrogant prick and blah blah blah. Okay, like, yeah, so you hate the truck because you don't like the person. I'm like, okay, that's fine. 
Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, this is what I wanted to check. So, mules, uh, which is now marked. Sleep, stope, sleep, <laughs> steep, slopes, uh, cliffs, and rivers. So, no BTs marked, but now we've got timefall. Oh, crap. So, in 30 minutes, it won't be here. Uh... Let's be smart about this. 